Today on Let Them Talk TV, we're going to look at the difference between the present perfect and the past simple. Now, I'm sure you've learnt this grammar before, but this time it's a bit different. First of all, I'll go through the rules and then we're going to see it being used in a real conversation with John from English with Monty. Let's go. Let's break it down and have a quick look at the grammar rules. Once you follow these rules, you'll see that with a little practice, it's actually quite easy. The first rule, very important rule. When we are talking about experiences in our lives, we use the present perfect tense. So this is about if you've done something or not done something. Have you had that experience? So for example, I've flown in a helicopter. Yes, I've had that experience. Have you ever flown in a helicopter? If the answer is no, you would say, no, I've never flown in a helicopter, or no, I haven't flown in a helicopter, or shorten it to, no, I haven't. Now you answer the next one. Have you ever swum in the sea? What's your answer? Well, yes, I have swum in the sea. Okay, so we're talking about an experience. It can also describe an action that has been repeated several times between the past and the present. For example, I've made many YouTube videos. Start in the past, I'm still doing it. I've read several books by Charles Dickens. I did that in the past, but who knows, I might read another one. So in these examples, I'm saying if I've done something and not when. I've read Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. Maybe if we're discussing literature, you want to know that, if I've read it or not. But do you really care when I read it? If I read it last week or last year? Not really, it doesn't matter. So we talk about an experience or experiences we've had, we use present perfect tense. Sometimes we want to say when something happened and for that we use, that's right, the past simple. For example, they went to the Maldives for their honeymoon. Now we are saying when not if they went to the Maldives. So it was for their honeymoon. That's a time phrase and it's in the past. So a common mistake would be to use the present perfect tense to say when something happened. For example, I have been to Paris last year. No, we're saying when something happened. So we use the past simple. I went to Paris last year, of course. And what fluent speakers often do is to give two sentences, one with a present perfect to talk about the experience and the second to say when the action happened using a past simple. So I'll give you an example of that as well. Have you ever been to Paris? I use the same example. Ah, yes I have. I went to Paris last year. Okay, see, first sentence is in the present perfect, the second one is in the past simple. And we'll look at some more examples of this soon when we have a conversation using the present perfect and the past simple. Now here are some other cases when we use the present perfect. Okay, we use it to describe an action which started in the past and is still happening now. For example, I've known Jim for a long time. So I knew Jim in the past and I know him now. So the present perfect links the past to the present. Another example, I've always believed that Democracy is the best form of government. So I believe this in the past and I still believe it. Unfortunately, the world is still full of dictators, but I'm a mere English teacher and there's not much I can do about that. But I digress. It was true in the past and it's true now. So present perfect. Next, we use the present perfect to talk about things that happened in the past, but have consequences for now. For example, I baked you a cake. Obviously, I baked it in the past, but here it is right now for you to eat. 
I cut my finger. Okay, it, it happened before, but it's hurting now and there's blood on my finger now, so I'm using the present perfect. It's relevant to now. Now, remember this rule. If you use a past time phrase, you must use the past tense. Common mistake. I mentioned it before. I'm going to mention it several times. I baked you a cake yesterday. I baked you a cake yesterday. No, that's wrong. Yesterday is a past time phrase, so you must use the past tense. I baked you a cake yesterday. This is a very, very strict rule in English. Sometimes English grammar rules are a bit, you know, uh, uh, ambiguous, but not this one. It's very strict. Now, there's one gray area where both the present perfect and the past simple are possible, and that's with unfinished time phrases. What do I mean by an unfinished time phrase? Today is an unfinished time phrase because today is never finished. This week, this month, this year, the 21st century, these are all unfinished time phrases. So we could say, have you been to the gym today? Or did you go to the gym today? What's the difference? You'll probably say, have you been to the gym today? When there is still the possibility of you going to the gym. Did you go to the gym today? Probably suggest that it's too late to go to the gym now. Maybe it's the evening, I don't know, but maybe it's just not gonna happen. However, it's a small difference and both could be correct. This morning is an unfinished time phrase only if it is still the morning. I've done a lot of work this morning. You could say that at 11 a.m., but I did a lot of work this morning. You would say that at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. is the afternoon. So this morning's in the past, so past simple. I've worked 60 hours this week and I haven't finished yet. I worked 60 hours this week. Thank God it's almost over. So there is no one correct answer here. You have to say what you feel is appropriate. But remember, I remind you, I remind you once again, because it's so important and because I hear this error so many times, if it's past time phrase, you must use the past tense. Did you go to the gym yesterday? Never have you been to the gym yesterday. There is a small difference in usage between British and American English. In American English, there are a few cases where they use the past tense, but us Brits use the present perfect tense. I'll just give you one example, and that's with just to talk about recent events. I'm British and I'll say, I've just seen Sharon, a present perfect because it's relevant to now. While an American would say, I just saw Sharon, the past simple, because it happened in the past. Let's look and see how we use the present perfect and the past simple in the context of a real conversation with John from English with Monty. Say hello, John. Hi, Gideon. How are you doing, everybody? Okay, and we've got some questions for you. We have got some questions. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to ask me a question, and yeah. Okay. Let's see what Sounds happens. Great. My first question, have you ever climbed a mountain? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, last year, I climbed a huge mountain. Which one? Everest or...? Uh... No, 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 no. Uh, just with a friend in Scotland. Oh, Scotland, okay. Yes, yeah, What's the yeah. name of the mountain? Do you remember? It wasn't Ben Nevis. I can't remember, to be honest. You can't remember. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's a very nice mountain. Though. Some Scot some mountain in Scotland. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Have you ever met a famous person? Uh, y yes, I have. Perhaps the most famous person I've ever met is President Jimmy Carter. Wow. That's very okay. I met him... I, I am exaggerating a little bit when I say I met him, but I was in New York, this is about 20 years ago, in a bookshop and just browsing. And then I looked up and Jimmy Carter was right in front of me, President Jimmy Carter. Wow. And I looked around, no one was else was in the bookshop and he stared at me and then the security guards came and, and said, what are you doing here? And rushed me out. And apparently he was doing a book signing 
Wow, and they cleared the whole bookstore out for his signing. They got rid of all the people. But somehow I'd been rendered invisible <laughs> and they didn't notice me. Uh, and, uh, yeah. And that, they so, obviously, obviously didn't see you as a threat, didn't see did they? It. Well, uh, it says something about the security of um, presidents or ex-presidents of the USA. Yeah, yeah they, anyway. they sacked them all after yeah, that, probably. maybe. Yeah, probably, yeah. 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 Interesting. Okay, I've got a question for you. Mm-hmm. Have you ever run a marathon? I have never run a marathon, but I did a half marathon once. Mm-hmm. It was probably around about 10 years ago now. You ran a half marathon? I ago. ran a half marathon, yes. Okay. Yeah. Impressive. Yeah, yeah. I frequently run 10K races That's as well. Cool. So you ran about half a marathon more than I have? Uh, I, I guess so, yeah. Okay. Because you're not a big runner, are you? <laughs> And other sports. Other sports, of course. Yeah, skydiving. <laughs> yeah. Things like that. Okay. So my next question is, um, have you ever been fired from a job? Uh, I have been fired from a job. Oh, dear. In fact, I was fired twice from The job. same job? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> two different jobs. Um, not particularly interesting stories, but it was two, it were two jobs that I hated, two administrative jobs, a long, long time ago. Okay. Uh, and in both times, this is to, to give someone um, hope that that's happened to you. I was fired from both jobs, and in both cases, I got a much, much better job almost immediately afterwards. So they both turned out to be good things. Okay, so yeah. you, you can get fired and, and do better for yourself. That's that's. Because if the lesson, isn't they it? don't want you there and you're hating the job, yeah, yeah, it can work out for the better. Okay, great. Okay, yeah, great, great, great. So my question to you: Have you ever read Shakespeare? Well, we had a bit of a debate about this earlier, didn't we? I, I've studied it, so I, I have read it, but perhaps not in my spare time. You've never picked up a book of Shakespeare and just read it on the underground no I have the complete works Coriolanus or King Lear or whatever I, I have the complete works of Shakespeare at home okay and I, I keep on thinking about picking it up okay reading John it. having the book <laughs> and reading it is not the same thing it's true now you've inspired me to do it so yeah. so thank okay. you Gideon I'm yeah. going to do it now yeah it's, it's, it's worth a read indeed indeed and have you ever sung a song in front of an audience uh, does karaoke count? I think that counts. Yes. Okay, so I have s- sung a song, uh, karaoke, and I think it was summertime. In the summer? Time. No, no, uh, the Porky and Best one. Okay. Can summertime you give us a red, red is easy. <laughs> no, I said uh, no, but I remember I sang it, and okay. uh, I'm a terrible singer. I thought I was great. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, judging from the faces of the people listening, uh, they didn't share the same opinion. Right. So did, yeah. Yeah. That, that doesn't surprise me, viewers. That okay. Really doesn't surprise me. Question for you: Have you ever driven a sports car? Well, I would say when I was younger, my mum's Peugeot two hundred five was a sports car. So, if you, you count that, no, I don't. So you've <laughs> never, you've never driven a sports car. I, I, I would probably say no, I haven't. No. Okay. Have you ever spent a night in prison? Oh, John. <laughs> that, that's, your, that's, yeah. that's your convict that, closing, isn't it? That? No, actually, no, I, I've never spent a night in prison. Really? No, I haven't spent a night in prison. <laughs> um, I, I know somebody who has. Really? But uh, not me. Who, who would that be? I'm intrigued. Uh, I'm not going to say. Wow. You might be watching. Might be watching. <laughs> uh, we're, we're recording this in Paris the moment mm-hmm. and so I thought I'd ask you this have you ever eaten frog's legs I have never eaten frog's legs but I had snails once and escargot escargot where did the escargot <laughs> <laughs> indeed um, and I, I, I thought they tasted interesting they're quite garlicky aren't they I don't know have you never tried? Of course you have tried. You're, you're a vegetarian. I yeah, I don't think the snails are garlicky. I think maybe the way the way they make them, they add garlic to the snails. Oh, really? I, did, I thought it was yeah. the snails themselves. No, no? I don't think okay. so. I, I'm not a culinary expert, but I believe that the, the basque and the garlic are yeah. part of the recipe. Yeah, they're not, they're not inside the snail. Yeah, good, good point. 
Have you ever lived abroad? Have <laughs> I ever lived abroad? I You're have, in Paris at the well, moment. I have, so. I have uh, lived abroad. I think, uh, strange, I get many comments in, in these videos to say, You're, well, you're French. But I say, no, I'm not French. I live in France. You don't have to be French to live in France. Mm. And I am living abroad, and I've also lived in... I, yeah, I have lived abroad. I've lived in Madrid, Madrid, in Spain. Mm -hmm. Spent a few months in Italy. A few months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And does Scotland count? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably that doesn't count. Probably okay. doesn't count. Not yet. Right. Until they get their independence. <laughs> um, have you ever been to China? I haven't. To be honest, it, it is on my list. I would really like to go to China. I've been, well, the closest I've been, I guess, is Japan. Oh, when did you go to Japan? I went to Japan in 2014, visited some friends who were living out there. Okay. It was mostly in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Very enjoyable experience. Mm -hmm. I would recommend it to everybody. Mm -hmm. Lovely place. Mm -hmm. Lovely people. Except to the Japanese viewers who are already there. Of course, so they yes. Need that recommendation. That's true. <laughs> if you live there, good choice. Okay. <laughs> okay, my last question, I think, is... Have you ever done a manual job? <laughs> That's an interesting question because I did, I have done a manual job. Okay. I did a manual job and I survived for one day. I, Psyched again. No, no, not exactly. <laughs> I gave up because uh, it was, when I was a student, there were lots of these admin jobs, you know, that you, you get, but they're quite not very well paid. Uh -huh. But... This job, manual job, uh, was very well paid for what it was. Okay. And it was carrying benches from the old Wembley Stadium after, I think, a Greyhound race or something. You had to go there at night and take out all the benches and put them in a, in a, in a truck. Mm. And so thought, you were like yeah. a roadie or something? Well, yeah, it was quite well paid. I thought, well, I could do this. I'll get fit and <laughs> I'll earn some money. Okay. And... It was back-breaking work, and I survived one day, and uh, I didn't turn up for the second day. Oh dear. Because I was not coming back. But so it, I, think, I think one day, you could have survived two days, and you probably would have been fine then, and you, you would have, you know... Well, so, well, people I met there, they, they've been doing it for years. Right. Yeah, they, they all knew each other, they doing it for years, so maybe, you, 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 of course, your body gets stronger and fitter as you do it, but, mm. no, I had other plans for my life, and... And, you know, lugging uh, um, but, piles of wood. So, benches. in a way, it probably worked out for the best because otherwise you could have been doing that now. So you became an English teacher instead. So Yeah, something like that. <laughs> probably a, wild, a, good, a good choice. Yes, indeed. Yes. Mm. So these questions about when we use the present perfect mm -hmm. to talk about things that are connected to the present, connected to now. Okay, mm -hmm. use the present perfect even though it happened in the past. So mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you a question, okay? What's the difference between I've lost my keys and I lost my keys? Mm. So I would say I lost my keys was, for example, last month I lost my keys and I couldn't get into my house. Mm -hmm. And if I say I've lost my keys, it's like, oh, I can't find them. That, that I, I haven't got them. You can't get into your luxury penthouse suite. Uh, yes, in the centre of Paris. Yes, <laughs> yes that's correct. Yes. yes. So, Gideon, I've got a question for you. So, Go what's the difference between I cleaned my room and I've cleaned my room? Ah, good question. Do you clean your room? <laughs> uh, from time to time. Okay. So, I cleaned my room. Uh -huh. Look, isn't it so tidy? Last month, I had some guests coming round. So I cleaned the apartment, cleaned the room, cleaned the apartment before they came. Mm. Okay, so it's not really relevant to now, so I'm using past tense. Yeah, no, of course, yeah. I mean, it was uh, very dirty before then, wasn't it? So mm. it was a good idea. What's the difference between I've broken my leg and I broke my leg? Ooh, that's an interesting one. So... I broke my leg when I was snowboarding a few years ago when I hit a tree. Is this a true story? No. <laughs> okay. It's not a true story, no. 
and uh, I've broken my leg. It's like I've I've fallen. I fall, fell down the stairs, and my leg feels really bad. I think I've just broken my leg. Mm. Mm. Okay, John. Thanks so much. You're very welcome. Always a pleasure. Okay. Take care. Take care. Bye.